and we like to do. Oh my goodness, it's a turtle. This turtle is a finger puppet. So I'm gonna just stick my finger in. There it is. And we sing a couple of turtle songs. So the first one is Tiny Tim. If you know it, sing it with me. I had a little turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. Duh, duh, duh. He ate up all the soap. Nom, 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 nom. And now he's stuck in bed with bubbles in his throat. Oh, bubbles, 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 splash. Bubbles, 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 splash. Good, let's do that one again. I'll put him on. I had a little, his name was T Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Num, 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 num. And now he's stuck in bed with bubbles in his throat. Oh, bubbles, 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 splash. Bubbles, 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 splash. Great. Give yourselves a hand. Now I have another one. This isn't a song. But I wanted to show you the box because my turtle lives in a box. He lives in this little box. But what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm going to have you make a box. So this is how we make a turtle. Close your fingers and keep your thumb up. Got it? I had a little turtle. He lived in a box. Here's how we make a box. Good. Now make the turtle again. He swam in the water. Yep. And now make a rock by closing one hand. He climbed on rocks. Put your turtle on the rock. Now, he snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea, he caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. Awesome, let's do it again. First make a turtle. You're gonna need a rock later on. I had a little turtle, he lived in a box. He swam in the water. He climbed on rocks. Your rock, good. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he didn't catch me. That's because we're people. We're too big for turtles to catch. Good job. Give yourselves a hand. Yay for you. <clears throat> All right. That was just for fun. Today, though, I'm going to show you some things, and we're going to use them in the story. First of all, some of you know what this is. If you, right now, just wherever you are, just say what you think this is. Watering can. If you said watering can, you are right. Now, this might be something you don't know. It's like a little shovel, but it doesn't have a long handle. It has a short handle. And it, ha <clears throat> it has two names. You could call it a trowel, or some people call it a hand shovel. Because it's little, you use it with your hand. People use a hand shovel when they're planting seeds and sometimes when they're working on their garden. So if I have a watering can and a hand shovel, what do you think I'm going to talk about today? If you said gardening, you are right. Today we're going to do a little experiment. <clears throat> we're going to use the hand shovel, the trowel, we're going to use the watering can, and here I have a container of 
dirt. And this is a seed. These are sunflower seeds. And I'm going to plant some sunflower seeds and see if they grow. When we, you come next week, we'll see if they're growing. But um, this is a way you could plant seeds at home, too. You could use a container or you could use a Ziploc bag. Now, this is a special one meant to hang on the window, but you could use any Ziploc bag and hang it on the window because you know what seeds need? They need dirt, they need water, and they need light. Three things. So I'm going to take my hand shovel and I'm going to put some dirt in this container, just a little bit, not too much. Now, I want to put the seed where we can see it because maybe we will get to see it grow. Maybe I'll put two seeds. Sometimes not every seed grows and comes up. But I'm going to put one right there, and I'll show you as soon as I get them in. I'll show you where I put them. One right here. If you don't have dirt at home, another thing you can do is use a wet paper towel. And then you might have to spray it and keep it wet. Now, I'm going to add a little water, just like that. There we go. Now let's see if our seed, I should have probably put the seed in after. I'll find it. There it is, I can feel it. All right, so the seed is in there. Now I'm going to hang this on my window and we will watch it grow and see if it grows by next week. That's one way to plant a seed. <clears throat> Here's another way. And I have a big cup because I'm planting sunflower seeds. Now sunflowers grow very big. So I need a big cup. If you're doing a different kind of plant, you won't need a cup that's this big. So I'm using my hand shovel or my trowel. And now, so I have some dirt. Now I need a place for the seed to go. So I'm going to take one finger and I make a little hole in the middle. And I'm going to put my seed in the middle. I'm going to do this. I don't know if you can see it. There it is right there. I am going to do this for four cups. And we will watch them grow. If, the, if it grows, sunflowers grow really fast. So they're fun to watch. And maybe I can even put it out in my garden. Now, so it's got dirt. What else does my seed need? It needs water, doesn't it? So here's my water. I'm going to get it nice and wet. There we go. And parents, another thing that helps when you're doing seeds is if you put a piece of saran wrap on top, it kind of acts as a greenhouse and it'll make the seed come up faster and be warmer. Now I'm going to put this in a sunny window and watch to see if it grows. Right now I'm putting it over. <clears throat> All my things down. All right, so that was just a seed thing. I have a story for you today. This is the book. This is a very old book. This book was around when I was your age, a long time ago, and it's called The Carrot Seed. And I've been telling this story a long time, but guess what? This book is so little. It's hard to see. So I made it bigger. It has super easy illustrations. That means pictures. So I made it big. And it's called the carrot seed. All right. So if you go to the store with your mom and dad, especially to the store where they sell seeds, this is what carrot seeds look like in the package. And all of us eat carrots or have eaten carrots. Maybe you don't like carrots. I love them. These are what carrot seeds look like. It's, they're super tiny. I put them on a piece of tape and put them on a white 
uh, white card so you could see how little they are. Isn't that amazing? Those are carrot seeds. And that's what this little boy is going to be planting today. The carrot seed. <clears throat> now, this book's about a family. So it's not just the little boy, but it's his family. But here we go. A little boy planted a carrot seed. Look, I see the seed. I see the hole in the ground. And here's the shovel. He has a long one. He's not using a trowel or a hand shovel, is he? He planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. Did you know, friends, that not every seed comes up? And that's okay. Sometimes we plant two seeds in one cup or in the row, so in case one doesn't come up. But he only planted one. Now he had a good idea to remember where that super tiny seed was. Do you see what he did? He put a stick and on it he put his little carrot seed packet so he could remember where it was and he wouldn't pull it up thinking it was a weed. But mom was worried. Sometimes our moms are worried for us, aren't they? His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. Do you think he's worried too? Because he wants the little boy to enjoy having his seed come up. So there's a mother and a father and this little boy. And guess what? He has a big brother. And his big brother said, here he is. He said, oh, it won't come up. He's not trying to help, is he? You know, sometimes big brothers are like that. Huh. Let's see what the little boy does. Every day, the little boy pulled up the weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. I see his water in here. And there he is pulling up weeds. We don't want the weeds to grow. We just want the carrot plant to grow. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's next. But nothing came up. And nothing came up. Oh dear. Do you think his mom and dad and his big brother were right that it wasn't going to come up? Let's find out what happens next. Everyone kept saying it wouldn't come up. His mother and his father and his big brother kept saying it won't come up. I think they're worried for him. They want him to have a carrot come up. Now, here's what the little boy did. But he still pulled the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. He's taking good care of his plants while he's waiting. Remember how we do the sign for waiting? Take your fingers. This means wait. Did this little boy have to wait? Mm -hmm. He had to wait a long time. It didn't come up right away. Every seed comes up at a different amount of time. Some take one week, some take two weeks, maybe even a little longer. So we really have to wait. And if you plant some seeds at home, I just want you to know you're going to need to wait. It won't come up right away. Needs time for the sun and the water and the dirt to work and for the seed to start. But this little boy, while he waited, took really good care of that seed. And then one day, Something's going to happen. Do you see this? The ground is getting kind of excited. Let's see. Ah. 
Oh my goodness. A carrot came up. I want you to look at that plant. Does that look like a carrot to you? Did you know that carrots don't grow up above the ground? The leaves and the stems grow up above the ground, but the carrot grows under the ground. So if here's the ground, the carrot is growing down here and the leaves and the stem are growing up there. Isn't that amazing? Some plants have, have the fruit or the vegetable that grows up above, but not carrots and not potatoes. If you ever grow potatoes, they do not grow above the ground, they grow under the ground. So when we say this is the carrot, what we is the stems, leaves of the carrot. And we know that the carrot is under the ground. Now I want you to look at that. Do you think that's gonna be a big carrot or a little? Hmm. I'm gonna turn the page and you might be surprised. Oh my goodness, it grew just the way he knew it would. He waited and was patient and took care of it. And look at the carrot, it's gigantic. If you said you thought the carrot would be big, you were right. That is super cool. His carrot is so big, he needed this tool. This is called a wheelbarrow. Some of you might have a wheelbarrow at home or mom or dad do. It's for carrying things that are heavy. This is so big and heavy that he needed a wheelbarrow to carry it. The and Good listening. Give yourselves a hand. Yay for you. That was a good story. And now I want to show you something. I went to the grocery store yesterday, and guess what I got? I got some carrots. And look at this. Here's the carrot, the part that grows under the ground. And here are the stem and the leaves that grow above the ground. And they're big, aren't they? They're tall. The leaves and the stem are even taller than the carrots. Huh, that is so cool. All right, that was super good. Now I'm gonna teach you another song and it's about plants. First, we're gonna make the ground. Now under the ground, guess what? The part of the plant that's called the roots grows. I'm gonna take my hand and make roots. Can you make roots? There we go. The roots of a plant grow underground, underground, underground. The roots of a plant grow underground. Roots are part of a plant. Now a plant has a part that goes up straight. So take your hand like this and put your elbow on the ground. This is gonna be the stem. The stem of a plant holds up the leaves, up the leaves, up the leaves. The stem of a plant holds up the leaves. Stems are part of a plant. We have a stem right here, don't we? These are stems. Now the leaves are making food for the plant. Make a leaf like this. The leaves of a plant are making food, making food, making food. The leaves of a plant are making food. Leaves are part of a plant. And then the last thing is, this happens to be a flower. So I'm making my flower like this. Can you make a flower? Oh, but <clears throat> what does a flower do? Now I'm forgetting. That's right. The flowers <laughs> on a plant are making seeds, making seeds, making seeds. The flowers on a plant are making seeds. Flower, flowers are part of a plant. The seeds are so that the flower can grow again the next year. Great job, give yourselves a hand, yay for you. All right, now <clears throat> I'm going to open it up and we'll get everyone here. <clears throat> 